sure you subscribe to the channel, press subscribe, and then there'll be a little bell button. Make sure you press the little bell button and just hit that little notification sign. Press save, and there you're done. Make sure you slap that like button, comment something down below. Hello guys, almost addicted here, and today I'm gonna show you how to build this modern house. It's like a realistic house, how to make a realistic house in Minecraft. As you can see, this modern house is huge. It's got everything you will need. It's got top balconies, it's got a swimming pool, it's got an underground layer, it's got everything you will need. And um, I've done a little bit of the inside, but as you can see, it's got a really, really sleek look to it. And uh, yeah, I really like this, but uh, definitely I don't do really huge ha houses very often. So definitely slap the heck out of that like button if you want more houses like this. It really does motivate me and really shows me that you guys want more houses like this. But as you can see, I've really gone all out on this one. So I really do need your support. If you haven't slapped that like button or it's rare that you slap that like button and comment, make sure you do this time because uh, I've really gone all out and I really want to try and give you the best content that I can today so uh, hopefully uh, you appreciate it enough to uh, just slap that like button I guess but without further ado let's build this awesome modern house it's kind of a mansion really um, mansion tutorial Minecraft mansion tutorial so without further ado let's build this and if you build it in a plot it will fit in a 50 times 40 so uh, let's do this it's awesome it even in the default text part, it looks exactly like this. This is in the Flow HD at the moment, but it looks pretty much exactly the same. So yeah, let's build this. Okay, so this big Minecraft house will fit in a 50 by 40 radius. So we're gonna go all the way. So make sure you do an outline of 50 and 40 so you know where to work because we're actually gonna work with these lines. So we're gonna start in the corner on this 40 strip. We're gonna go up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna budge this all the way along. 50 Okay, so as you can see we've got it all the way along and put it down there and we're gonna go all the way back along this 40 line So we're gonna go all the way to 40 Okay, so we've got those two sides up now We're just gonna fill in all of that and all of that with the quartz Okay, so we've got those two sides up now what we're gonna do is we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to go up and fill all this in as well. It's going to go up to this height. So we're just going to fill it all in with the quartz. Okay, so now what we're going to do on this line here, we're going to go in here and we're going to count one, two, three, four. And then we're going to fill this all the way up to the top of there. Okay, we should have that filled in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the stairs of the quartz. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, even like that. And we're going to bring them down so they come all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we've got those stairs going all the way down. Now what we're going to do from here we're going to bring this all the way back. So there should be a three gap in between there. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the grass blocks and fill that little gap in. Okay, we've got that filled in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run an extra layer going all the way around the back of there. So this is in the quartz as well. So we're going to bring it all the way around and go around. So we've got that filled in as you can see. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to bring this all the way across until we see this point here at the bottom of the very bottom of the stairs so we can bring this up and we can actually fill it all in now um we might have one gap maybe we can put this across the top here and then just have the one gap at the side here just down the side there and then fill the rest in okay we should have that and now we're going to do exactly the same on the other side so we're going to start from here start from here bring it all the way down and just basically copying off that so we're just squaring it off So I've done exactly the same as you can see I've got that gap in at that side as well and uh, yeah let's work on so a little bit more things so we're going to start here we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to go one and then we're going to go one two three four five one and then one just like that and then at this bit we're going to get our half slab if you call it that and we're going to place one like that and we're going to go all the way across here until we get to that point there now behind here we're going to bring these up by one two three four extra like all these ones the circle just at this point here 
In fact, what we're going to do, we'll bring it up to the same height as that wall there. Okay, so now what we do is we're going to go all the way across here, and this is where we're going to actually get some of the black. Um, I'm using the black hand clay, but use any black block of your choice, and we're just filling in the back here so you can actually see it. So I'll fill all this in. As you can see, we're just filling it in so it's just covering that front block at the front. Now we're going to go around this double time, like this, double it up, going all the way around it, and at this point we're doubling it up as well, so like that, and across the bottom. Okay, we should have that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our carpets of the white carpets, and we lay a layer across there, and then we just keep going like this until we get to the top, layering carpets on top of carpets. There we go, we've got that vent sort of look. Now on the inside of these here, I'll just change the time. As you can see, I've just put these black blocks behind it, and now what we can do is we can actually lay around this, but we're actually going to just keep it like this. We're not going to double these ones up. So it's going to be like that all the way to the top, and then we can actually put the carpets on the inside of those as well. And um, So on this, obviously, we'll get the carpets going up until the point we can't place any more, and we're going to go to this other side and do exactly the same, so we do it here as well. Now this little front bit here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place an extra block going up like this I'm going to do another one here just so it kind of encloses it in now this bit I kind of want to have some kind of like grassy garden area so across the top here we'll fill this all in like this and then we can try and get some bushes or grass and stuff in there Okay, so I've just got a bush going up there. Now what I'm going to do is keep removing these back here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that with water at the back there. Let's get that water going in the back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our grass blocks going across here. And then we're going to get sugar cane in this area. Now I'll put the sugar cane up for high and I'm just going to put this over the top and then this over the top as well. So two of them like that. And then let's have a little look at the back. That's okay. Right, okay. Now what we're going to do is at the side of this we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And bring this all the way across and this is going to go behind this as well. So it's going to go behind this point. And we're going to fill all that in and then this is going to go all the way around here. And we're just going to overlap it till we get to this point where it comes out there. And then we can fill this little bit in, and then we fill this at the front. Now this bit here where we've got this little bit, we're going to count this out and go all the way to just to that point. And we're going to actually put some little bits of trees in there. So we'll actually count them up. We'll go, um, let's say, we just have two at the side. So one, two, three up there, one, two, three. And then we put like a fence or something or an anvil. I'm just going to go with a fence, just a fence under there. Maybe you could do it too high, I don't know. Nah, I think the one high looks a little bit better. So we'll use that, get that on there. Now what we're going to do now, starting from this 50 point here, we're going to count one, two, three, and then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five gaps, and then on the sixth one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five gaps, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five gaps, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five gaps, one, two, three, and then we're going to, we could do it again, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get our stairs of the quartz going like this, going all the way across until it reaches the other side. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is um, 
so we've got that little tiny one there that one and then this one I'm going to remove for this one and keep this as kind of the fence post so we're going to put it a little bit lower but what we're going to do on all these bits we're going to place carpets going all the way across here and then on top of there all the way across here and on top of there and we're going to do it for each section here just all the way across okay so we've got that it's looking quite nice now from this point here we'll just do it for now just from this point we're going to get some stone we'll get the stone and we're just going to fill in the whole floor so we're going to remove all this grass here all down here and all around here we're just going to fill it in with the stone okay we've got that nice and filled in so down the side here we're going to start from this pillar here and we're actually going to get some blue or gray wool out even so we get our gray wool and starting from this point we're going to count one two three gaps and then we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we should have five rows one two three four five and we're going to put this up by ten Okay, so once we've done that, it's up by 10. What we're going to do across the top of here, we're going to get this, and this is going to go all the way till it joins that point, and then we're going to go out by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, making sure it's in line with that one. Now we'll do an extra layer going all the way across here now, and this is going to go all the way up until the point of here, which is the bottom of that point. Um, we don't want to do it any, I might do it a little bit more. We'll do this bit going across here just with one little extra just like that now we're going to bring this going all the way to the other side so it should join on just like that it's looking real pretty if i do say so myself and then what we're going to do now is we're going to make kind of a pathway so this pathway is going to go all the way up here starting from here we're going to go all the way up here. Just for now, we're going to actually be removing some, but we're going to count how many gaps are in between here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gaps, right? So what we do from this wall, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one extra. And this is just so we, we can join this on. We can actually remove these points. And that is just for the simple reason, because we're going to bring this, see how it turns should turn like this and you should have the nine gaps in between there nine gaps in between there so as you can see we've got that it's looking nice and uh, what we're going to do now from this corner here we're going to count up one two three four five six seven and we're going to go all the way across to this side as well and this is going to go up by one two three four five six seven we're going to join these together just like that and then this is going to go all the way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it should be level with that and this is going to basically go all the way over to the other side where this one is and we're just going to kind of box it off like this so it should be following this same pattern okay so once we've got that strip on this outer edge here which is not over there and we're going to go like this. This is going to go all the way across to the other side and we're going to fill in the big gap but leave this small one here. Okay, we've got that filled in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the whole of this back wall here as well. So this one right here is going to be filled in as well. Okay, so now once we've done that, we're going to count up one, two, three, and we're going to fill this all the way across to the other side there. As you can see, I've filled it in there, and we're going to actually fill in the whole thing, so making sure there's no gaps there, we'll fill it all in. Okay, we've got that up there, so what we're doing now, we're bringing this going all the way across here until it reaches the point where we are level with this bottom bit here. And then we're just kind of boxing it off. So that's level with that. And we're boxing that whole thing off. And then we're just going to fill in the whole top roof. Yeah. 
Okay, we've done that. Now what we can do, we can actually bring this grey wool, all of them, until they go up to the top. In fact, we might do this. We'll try this. We'll see what it looks like. Get the two sides up like this, and then maybe one going across on top. And we could maybe put those carpets in, but actually use grey wool instead. We'll put some black behind this one, like this, and then we'll get the grey carpets and do it exactly the same as what we did with the white. But at the back here, we're going to have to change this up a little bit, um, which I'm going to do at maybe this level here, just where that joins in. We're going to go like this, and this is basically just going to go round it up to the top here. And it kind of brings some design into the building as well. So like that, and then across there, we can put that across there, that across there. In fact, we might do another one, and then this one goes across like that. So we've got that sort of shape on the inside, which looks pretty cool, and we'll get our grey carpets filling that in. As you can see, we've got our grey carpets. It's looking quite sleek, quite nice, I would say. Um, now, I think what we should do is bring this all the way back here just so it's kind of level with the rest of it and I guess it, um, we could stop at that bit uh, yeah we'll bring this across because I kind of want that open plan maybe um, so bring it to there and then this bit here so we can kind of see this from the ceiling and maybe just have a walkway going across which I think might be quite cool so I'm going to fill in this gap here with the quartz we we'll just fill it all in Okay, so we've got that filled in, and I think what we could do is we could actually fill in just the whole of this top here. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, we can fill all that in, and we can keep this gap down here, maybe. In fact, I might just fill it in. Just fill it in to be safe. All right, so we filled that in. That's going across there. Now across here, I kind of want a little bridge, so counting from this point here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove all these and then we bring this one across and then we'll do a bridge that is maybe five I think. It's five along like that and then um, I kind of want a white strip coming up here up to the top there and one at this side as well coming all the way up to the top and then we can get our black glass and we can actually do that. Um, we can get this going up here as well and this one going up this one just like that and then we can get a black stained glass we'll get that and we can fill it across here and of course across the little bridge so it'd be across this point here and then round and then it should fit into the fixtures and then across here fit into that fixture and then we've got our little bridge there but we can still look down and I think I might put a pool down there something cool so we've got that upstairs that's looking cool and um, let's see what else we can do I'm tempted to put another one of those things um, but at the same time I kind of want to get some I want to get some of this in but at the same time I don't I don't know um, okay so at this point here I'm gonna maybe bring this back remove this and we can have just like a grass patch going all the way across there get this going all the way to the back and then we can fill it all in with the grass there but at the same time we could maybe have that as a garden back there so we could fill it in to this point here and then we could have this as stone so I'm going to fill all this bit in as stone and then this all the way around here at this level is going to be all grass until it gets to the point of here and we could maybe Maybe, 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 um, I might try this actually, um, at this point, one, two, because I kind of want some seating areas going down there, I think it might be quite cool, um, yeah, we could go, um, let's see what it'll look like, we'll get this, one, two, three, like that, and bring this all the way across, and then fill that little gap in with stone, so I'll do this really quickly. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is that stone going down there and then this, this is going to be stone anyway, so I might as well bring it up here, take that patch out and that patch and then fill all that in with stone, that grass going all the way around and I'm actually going to put like a little wall up here, but I'll fill this in with the stone and the grass and then we'll see what we're working with.
Yeah, so we've got that grass running around here. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wanting to do. Maybe build this wall just a tiny little bit higher and then put it across here. And then we can get the black stained glass across this point, just kind of enclosing that bit in. And then we can bring this wall going all the way round like this and just kind of have like little gaps. You can have random gaps in um, way to get kind of through. And then we've got this going all the way through, maybe a gap, I don't know, here or something. And then just the odd gaps here and there. It can be completely random. So we get to this edge over here and then I'm going to do this. And then for this tiny little bit, I'll do the glass just like that. I think that looks quite tidy, quite nice. Now for these, we're obviously going to have support beams. So I would probably put a support beam there and put a support beam on every single other one of these. Now, um, yeah, I'll put these up. So yeah, one on this corner as well. But obviously, if you want to make it symmetric and stuff, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm not too fussed about keeping it symmetric at that bit. Now this bit, I'm going to get the same sort of pattern going just across here where we're going to get the carpets and run it across. Yeah, so what I've done underneath here, I've got the sea lanterns um, going underneath here. Obviously, you don't have to use the sea lanterns, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run this going all the way around each one of them. If you want to do them as trapdoors, then you're more than welcome to do that. But yeah, I'm going to do this all the way across. As you can see, we've got that strip going across there. Now I'm thinking maybe at the sides here, just at these two sides, because I kind of want it so you can kind of go up and you can get into this part from the top. Maybe do a little balcony at the top. But this will go all the way across here. We'll move these side bits here like that. And um, I'm pretty sure nobody will walk over that bit anyway. Um, but yeah, we can put doors in there, but obviously we're going to have to have a floor level at the same height as this. So we're going to bring it out by one, two, three, four. And we're going to bring it all the way across and uh, fill it all in. Yeah, so I've got that top floor there. And I think we need to start working on some kind of um, design. <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay, we're going to do it on here. We're going to count at this side. So obviously in here, we're going to count one, two, three. Yeah, we'll do it on the third one here. So this is going to go all the way up to the top. And we're going to go one, two, three. And bring it across here. And it's going to be kind of like a support for that. And we're going to do the same at the other side. So we're going to count one, two, three. I don't know if it'll affect the glass. Hopefully it won't. So one, two, three. On the fourth one even, we go like that all the way across. And uh, in between these, what we can do as well, we can actually do those vents. So we can do that and then we can get our carpets in between like this as kind of like main supports. So we do the same at the other side. Okay, so what we're going to do now Starting from here, so we're going to go either side here. These are just marker blocks for the time being. Um, so it should be following that one up there and following that one. So you should have a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to bring these back by one, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth one, we're going to bring it round and interlock it with this one. And then we can actually remove these ones ready. It's just so we've kind of got a marker point. And then we're going to bring these all the way up to the ceiling, just uh, full in with the quartz. Okay, so now what we do is we're going to get this and bring it all the way round to here and bring it round to here, just like that. And then we're just going to have, I th I think we can just keep bringing it round. I just want to see what it looks like. And then this across the top, yeah. So it should all interlock like this. Just like that. 
and then in between each one of them we're going to put some black stained glass so I'll speed this up Okay, so we've got that on there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place full block here, full block here. I just want to test it to see what it'll look like as like a railing. So we can get this going up like that. We can put the carpets on and you can put string if you want to be uh, a little bit better with it. But yeah, and basically we're going to have a block on each corner like this and then this corner like this. If you would like you can also um, just use the slab going across but I kind of want to make it look a little bit more sleeker like that. I guess that's kind of nice. And then we do the same where this is going all the way over to this side. I might actually put uh, one, two here and then we can actually do this. So I'm going to speed this up and uh, do it for all the way across there. Right, so we've got that little balcony. Now, I think the end point of the balcony, we should do it from this support beam here and bring it round to interlock with this. And then we can just kind of, uh, yeah, do the same sort of pattern design like this, going all the way across and round. And it should join into that one there. But I kind of might want to make a doorway here um, where we've got the bridge going up. So we can actually bring this up here and bring this one up here as well. We'll turn this one into another support beam just like the same. We'll get these carpets in so it kind of replicates the other one and then across here um, we're going to do the same as what we kind of did at the front where we curl it round and put the blackstone glass in just for this kind of like little area. Yes, as you can see, I've got that little area and then we've got this area up top here. Now, maybe, this is what I'm thinking. Um, so that is a four gap there. Um, so that's one layer, two, three, four. And we're going to bring this back and interlock it into this bit here. And I think I'm going to put a railing along that bit. And maybe a railing across the top bit so we can kind of use that balcony so we'll get this black stained glass going all the way across the top here and um, just to this point and then across this bit here we'll get this balcony and this out like this and turn this into like I don't know a little side piece balcony which is looks quite cool I think and then on the inside we need to find a way on how to get up into this area which I'm thinking do it from maybe get a pillar from here and bring it up to this point break it across and then we might as well do another one here as well and bring that across and then will this fit into the other white one that's the only thing perfect right so now we can get our staircase going from here but it will still affect that but I guess we could have it from here one two three so I'll bring this staircase going all the way down. I might do a two staircase because then I could bring this into play. Yeah, so I'll bring it down. So as you can see, what I've done is I've put stairs underneath each one as well. And um, now I think I might just kind of seal this bit off where the stairs is and bring it up to the ceiling. So this bit as well, I'm gonna actually bring it up to the ceiling as like a sealed unit. So this will go all the way to the top as well. Okay, we've got that and the staircase. Now I'm thinking maybe we could do the same for this. Same with the other side. So bring this up here and we'll only have the two gap through there. And um, that staircase is gonna go along here. So we can double that up maybe triple actually, triple it up so it interconnects into this one. So this can connect into this one and we'll just have to remove just those three there. And then we can still get up onto this roof part. Out here, I'm gonna probably do a three gap way so we can actually get through onto this point. And I'm just gonna put something simple like that. 
I might actually do a, another point, maybe another garden up there. Um, let's see, we've got that coming all the way down. Yeah, I'm just going to do exactly the same. So this is going to go up and just replicate that other wall, basically enclosing this in. So that would mean we'd have to take out that one, bring this in. And obviously we've got a little balcony there, so I kind of want to put it to use. So we'll bring this down just to the point of the stairs. Maybe we'll uh, triple it down. So we've got a two gapway in there. Fill this in. And then we can still actually access that other little bit here, which is this little balcony bit. We can obviously do something with that. Um, but yeah, I think that looks all right. Uh, let's go out and check this side now. Um, so we've got that, we've got the staircase. I'm obviously gonna do some other designs down there but so far I kind of like it it's looking quite kind of nice and um, what I want to do this is how I want to do the pool I want to bring this back I need to get some light I'll get some light in here yeah so from this wall I've just put a bit of glowstone in there Um. yeah so it's, it's going into this bit and then we're gonna count one two three four five and I want to bring this round until it reaches the point of uh, this one. So it interlocks into here. Might do like a little garden thing in there or something. We could actually remove these points and maybe we could make it a bit more solid so it looks a bit better. Make that as a squared point, square this bit off as well. And we could fill this little bit in here. You don't have to do this bit, it's just kind of, I'm just kind of messing around with ideas, see what works and you know. Um, and then we can get this running all the way around. Well, I'll just light this bad boy up. Now across here, I'm gonna fill this in, across here with the half slab, all the way around this point as well. Because I'm wanting the pool kind of in here. Um, I kind of want it accessed back here as well. So it's just kind of, um, I want that two pathway. Yeah, we'll go around here. This goes all the way across here and it gets to this point. We want in like a two path basically, going all the way around. And we'll stop it about this point here. So level with that and basically take it back to the very back of the building. I'm gonna have to get some more glowstone in this damn thing. Um, all the way to the back of the building making sure we've got a two gap at the back as well uh, this is just so we can have like a little walkway going in uh, this one as well making sure we've got that two gap bring it all the way around and then this can be our kind of pool I guess um, bring it all the way around to this point I'm gonna have the two gap around there as well so this is just gonna go to this point so as you can see, this would basically go around. You can use something else apart from quartz, but I kinda, I don't know, I'm digging the quartz at the moment. I kinda wanted to do a whole big quartz one. So I'll speed this up going around the, with all, all the stuff that we dig down. You'll kinda see a bit better what I mean. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, we've got the two pathway that goes around the whole thing and you can get round this way. And that pathway is gonna be filled in with a stone. So I'm gonna fill that all in. But when we get to this point, in fact, I'm just gonna fill in the whole floor with stone. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna dig all this out. You can make it as deep as you like. Um, I'm actually gonna fill the bottom with some kind of a blue material. Now you can do it as deep as you like. Like you could use, I don't know, something like this, you know? Lapis, anything blue. Uh, you dig it as deep as you like and then fill it all in with the water. So I'm going to do that and speed all this up. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the pool all filled in. I've got that filled around. And then I've got this and stuff. But what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to actually bring this. I might do it as just the one block, maybe. In fact, I'll do two blocks here. Just the two blocks here. Maybe even three. Do three blocks and then this going over the top interlocking into this little bit here. I kind of don't like it but at the same time. Let's see. I might leave that open plan there actually. Leave it open plan there and then um, just bring the black stained glass coming around from this point and then bring it all the way to the top.
top there. Okay, so I'm going to bring it right all the way around here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do four on here. I'm going to have this as a support going up to the top of the ceiling. Obviously, where we can see that dirt, we're not going to be seeing that bit because I'm going to actually fill it in with the quartz going all the way around. Or we might actually have something else. But, um, yeah, I think for this, we can actually do the quartz pillars like this. And then... It, we can get away with it like that because that's going to go over the top but um, across here basically we're just going to fill it all in uh, I need to find some way to light the place to be honest uh, but across here as well see where the dirt starts we can bring this going across here and then up and then I want to do another one of those um, things that we did at the top where it's kind of like looks like grills we get that as a support beam and then we get the carpet and fill all that in and then basically just bring this all the way up to the top here we've got that bit we can fill that in and then when we get to this point we could probably do another I guess one two three four bring that down to the ceiling and then bring that all the way around and just basically cover it in with the quartz I'll speed this up okay so as you can see I filled all that in there and I've got this bit on the ceiling what I'm thinking is go across here we could fill that extra layer in, fill this extra layer in, and then just kind of do little strips like this. So it kind of looks like ventilation in the ceiling. We could probably put some white um, trap doors up there. I think it'd look a little bit better. I'm obviously going to arrange this um, glowstone a little bit better. But yeah, I'll speed this up and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, so as you can see across the ceiling, we've trailed it all the way across here. Now, when this bit joins with this, I kind of what I want to do is have this going across here so it looks less funny, um, I guess. Right, so I kind of want to do like a plant pot display, I guess, in there. Um, that going across there, this going across there, and then just repeating the same thing where we've got the carpets in between this point here. And then um, I think it's a good divider so that one starts off and then for this bit here I want to make these kind of shorter going across there as you can see so it's just kind of like three layers but you can kind of mess around with the roof it doesn't have to be exactly like this that's the thing it, it doesn't have to be perfectly like this I know a lot of people are like oh you can't you're not explaining properly it's like you know you, you can um, take a little bit of initiative and do your own sort of thing to these builds and stuff it's like it's not um that's the thing about this you, you can't go too wrong you could just kind of mess around with some ideas like that you could do something like that if you just wanted it filled in you could do something like that and have it filled in if you like that better if you just wanted something plain just that going across the top and maybe you wanted like two sort of strips in there you know, there's so much you can kind of do, can kind of fill this in. Um, I don't think you can go too wrong. But this, so far, I would say it's looking quite good. Um, yeah, I think it's not too bad. Um, this round here, we need to work out on um, some kind of doorway through here. At the same time, I kind of want to keep, I want to put like a garden in here, I guess. Um, but I could keep it, maybe. Let me try this. Um, get this to the top here and then this to the top here I kind of want maybe a seating arrangement there um, so I could have I don't know a seat there and then we could have like a table here keeping it sort of um, plain and simple and um, what we can do here is we can do the same where we can bring this all the way up to this point here and then go like this bring this all the way across and hopefully it interconnects into it and looks quite all right um, see what that looks like so you can just kind of play around with some ideas see what works I, I kind of like that though that's quite nice we can do some little um, table designs like that I think and um, for round here like this bit here I'd say everywhere there is a doorway yeah maybe maybe we could just do something like this you know in between these gaps here put that and then you could have like a 
table design or the, a seating arrangement even just something like that something quite simple you know I think those look quite nice and what you can do if we're keeping level with those you can actually brick out some of this as well you know or just kind of mess around with some ideas that you think will work it doesn't have to be perfect maybe you just want the one here get some windows in here windows in here just brings a bit of character into the build I guess um, around here I'm gonna run a bush going all the way around here and then I'm going to fill it with just some bone meal I think um, let's put little seats here and there just like a, maybe a seat here seat here a four seat here three seats here you know just kind of make it random and then um, at the back here I'll leave that there I think what I'll do here is place this here and then when we can get a bush we'll get a bush in here and just kind of close them up to the point of these little seats get that going across here it doesn't have to be a certain type of bush uh, just any bush I think this is jungle or whatever but uh, definitely get hold of me if you get this in uh, survival on Twitter or something or even if you don't do it in survival you, you manage to build all this because it's quite a big project I do realize it's taken me quite a while so uh, yeah I think up to this point I'm gonna put another one there as well just to so kind of close it off let's get some bone meal I got some bone meal filled it all round there I mean you could put so you could even put some trees around here I don't know how it would work I don't know how it would look even uh, but we can try it let's try an oak tree um, like yeah let's, let's give it a go there we go nice big one yeah that's all right you know you've got a, a topside garden you could maybe get some here as well you could maybe get a couple of trees that are growing in this sort of area um, you know you can kind of mess around with some ideas see what works and definitely if you do any more to these sort of builds you'll have to get in touch with me and uh, show me what sort of stuff you've come up with because it's always cool to see what sort of stuff you add to my builds but yeah something like that that's quite nice and then you can always add like little kind of quirky little bits like um, add more trees bushes and stuff um, I don't know just randomly um, put one two there one two three there just the one there I probably put it up about three high or something put it on top of each one and see what it looks like it's just kind of trial and error with these sort of things um, I don't know it's kind of nice I guess and um, this here I kind of want to do something with it um, like maybe make a window maybe I don't know I want to do something like this I don't know how it would look something like this and then take that bit out there and then have that as a window on the inside just so it's got a bit more depth to that one I kind of like it but at the same time I feel it work quite well using this outside bit as the grey because it's quite bare isn't it um, something like this let's see yeah that looks nice I mean this modern house I'm, I'm liking it um, down this side here because it looks quite plain doesn't it one two three four one two three four one two three four and then I'm gonna just like on every bottom one go like this just so it looks a little less plain and I'm gonna probably do the same as this one like this pattern going all the way back here so one two three four five I'll repeat and speed it up Yeah, I've just got to this point. What I'm going to do is actually bring that up to there and then I can actually leave this bit. I, I suppose I could get a little bush on there or something. Uh, but yeah, just letting you know. Oh, 
okay I've got that side done uh, you can keep this plane obviously uh, I've done it so it's in a plot maybe next to a mountain or something but you can obviously work around that sort of thing and work with some ideas um, at the side here I kind of want to make just kind of um, from here one two three four five and then one two bring this out bring this up to the top just like that and then bring this round here like that bring it round to this layer I'll just change the time real quick time set and then bring this round to here as well and this one round yeah I might I might stick with this sort of thing this sort of design get that there that there probably block off this area here maybe maybe not in fact we'll just repeat with the same so repeat with the same design and then on the inside I can actually interlock this going up to the top like that and um, maybe have a support beam there or something maybe even another balcony just so we can kind of overlook and not neglect those windows um, yeah for here as well we're gonna have to do an extra double one just so I can get the black stained glass um, just get the black stained glass out and then get this going across here I think I've gone a bit overboard with this I didn't actually intend for, this is all freestyle as well so I didn't actually intend for it to be kind of like this big but hopefully people appreciate it and um, slap that like button it really does help me out and uh, quite reluctant to do big builds like this even though I love doing it um, I really am because you don't get as much support you seem to get loads of support for the little mini builds for some reason I have no clue um, right so I've got something like that and I think I'm just gonna keep it simple with this going up at the top just something like that um, at the side I'm gonna have like a little chair and then I might even do just that up the side and then one two three just something simple um, could even have it as like I don't know a glowstone or something and then just stick a trapdoor on it I swear I nearly ripped my finger off there trapdoor in fact I might get the other trap doors out because get those melt ones trap I'll show you what I mean for underground as well because I think I was going to do that if, if people are using the default texture pack it might look quite cool so yeah I've got a little seating area down at the side there that's quite cool and um, you can always like um, divide that off a little bit more if you would like um, you can always have like little plant pots at the side and um, stuff I guess on the top of the ceiling now one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven you don't have to do this at all one two three four five six seven I'm gonna sneeze oh my god right right let's bring it let's have a look underneath here so that's seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I just think it'll make it look quite cool this little bit just that little um, thing there would the trap doors look okay underneath um, I might put them at the top let's have a look just something like this it, I think it brings real character at the top of the build as well we're gonna have to let a lot more light in now you don't have to do all this stuff that I'm doing this is kind of like extra details that I'm kind of uh, adding to it but um, yeah you can always do stuff on the ceiling you can actually keep it plain up, up top there as well um, but out here as well we've got um, I kind of like that plain sort of um, you know like we could have some stuff like this and maybe um, we could get some more of these bushes up here one two one two kind of like it plain um, did I already say I like it plain um, let's get that and I don't know just kind of like a little barbecue or something you can obviously uh, do a little bit better design than this but just keep it simple I'm not gonna put any fire around here um, but I'm just gonna keep it something like that maybe something like a, a little hangover 
like that. And then maybe put some grills at the back just to let that escape. Something like that, that's quite nice. And then obviously you could put some fire under there if you would like to. Um, let's get some more of these. I'm obsessed with these little trees, little bush trees. But yeah, something like that is quite nice. Keep it nice, modern, simple. Um, like this, we could actually keep him with that design there. Um, at the back here, of course, um, you just do whatever you like, really. I'm going to keep it simple by like having these as kind of like little desks. Not desks, what the hell? Um, yeah, you get, you get the idea. But I'm going to keep it fairly open plan, something like this. Um, Obviously you can work around with different areas and make different bedrooms, cut off rooms. But I don't want to do too much. I kind of want to leave it to you guys so you can kind of put your own spin on it. Um, but for doorways here as well, I'll probably thicken this doorway up. And what you can do is actually put this going through here. And then when you thicken it up on the inside here, something like this. You know, I'm sure there's loads of people out there that could actually um, in interior decorate this, but um, it just takes hours. It takes honestly, like you see how long it's taken me so far. It's um, yeah, I'm gonna keep with a door like that, and um, I don't want to add too much more to it because I think it's quite nice. Like down here as well. Like, there's so much you could do to it. Like, you've got this overhang that leads into the pool, so that would be quite cool. So you could jump down into the pool um, and maybe put a pillar going up from here. And, I'd, yeah, just get a hold of me, sit, and um, I'd love to see what you come up with. Like, you could always do something like this, just fill, like, these little areas in with grass and then have a little garden underneath the ground, you know. You could add some bushes, you could add some grass, get some longer bushes... Uh, there's so much you can kind of do with it like that sort of thing maybe have a bush there and then you've got this here and then you've got kind of like a, an indoor yeah thing um, I mean you can start working with some different colors as well um, especially for the underground and uh, you could get the stone slab and trail it round here so it's kind of like as a feature um, you can have maybe um, have a look through my um, tutorials and stuff I do have like um, some gazebos and stuff like that so you you could probably add something like that but what I was wanting to do here I'm gonna do this a little bit at least at the very least and obviously you can do some different light fixtures that light fixture up there is just atrocious it's not it was just kind of to light the place up a little bit and um, but I'm gonna keep it quite plain but I'm sure you guys see that when you um, when I first show you the video and what this house actually looks like let's see like that could be a cinema screen you could have um, a seating area here where all the guests come round and they eat the popcorn and you've got your cinema home cinema screen there you can put some speakers at the side and um, what I wanted to do for this is just have like a little walk feature or something it just shows you, you can just add so much to it. Keep that with a glowstone. Might actually fence this a little bit off from the public. So you don't get people jumping in your water fountain. Not cool, bro. Not cool. So something like that. I mean, it, even if um, the same as what I did before with the other thing, even if you want to add a bit more... Um, color to it and stuff like that you can always add this little bit and um, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of that little bit now like that let's get this water bucket back out there you go you can just kind of experiment with some cool stuff but I'm gonna probably get some lighting fixtures I'll probably keep it plain here so you guys can actually see I might put some couches along the back here and that's about it and kind of leave it at that maybe put this glowstone in these little bits here maybe just kind of um, in these two yeah I might do it in all of these up there so it just kind of lights it up but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this it's um, I, I like it it's quite big it's big and nice uh, people have been asking for the bigger house tutorials so hopefully this is big enough for you 
and you stop complaining at me that I'm making small houses. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's a pretty beast. It's probably one of the best I've seen in a while. So yeah, there you go. There you go. That's pretty sweet. Look at that. Look at that. Block for block as well. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out my other videos if you've just come across it. And I shall see you in the next video. Uh, what you can do as well, you can actually make this into a patio. You can do some black and white checkers maybe in a little part somewhere. But, uh, yeah, catch you later, guys. Peace.